Welcome aboard, folks. It's Sunday for a special impromptu game of D&D because, yeah, what the hell? Uh, it's a nice night out. We got nothing better to do. Uh, tonight, we're going to go ahead and uh, schlock something together the, with these two fourth-level individuals. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff, uh, go to our uh, shop. And if you want to chat with us, go to our Discord, uh, which, yeah, it's at the bottom of the screen. Um, so, uh, you can go there. Hopefully my audio's okay tonight. Uh, I, I'm doing the production, so we all know I kind of suck at that. Uh, let's talk uh, to our colleagues here without further ado. Carol, we'll start with you. Who are you? Who are you playing tonight? So, as you said, I'm Carol. I am a commissioned mini painter, sometimes GM, and longtime gamer. I'm playing my character that I had last night because it was convenient uh, to have since I played for four hours already today. Uh, I'm playing Rainia, my human rogue, who will try anything once. Whatever. Uh, Big Mike, uh, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, I'm Mike. I do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What I was... Wow, that is stunning, oh. man. I mean, okay, yes, I'm a software engineer. You want me to actually get into it? There you go. Um, <clears throat> tonight, I'll be playing Urbanio, the halfling bard. Urbania. Oh, not a. Uh, Urbania? Urbanio. Urbanio, got ya. Okay, fair enough. Uh, folks, uh, literally... Uh, prepared this in less than an hour, so we'll see uh, if it, if this turd floats tonight. Uh, you two are We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I have three different scenarios for you, one of which you may die in. Um, these two individuals have just reached Cathaway, home of heroes, home of Dwayne the Brick Johnson, home of Bill and Ted. Uh, this place is just happening. Uh, they are fourth level. They've come in off the trail, uh, looking for a little R&R &R in the big city. Uh, lady, gentlemen, as you enter town, you see the marketplace on the left uh, next to the river that cuts the city in half. Uh, and to the right, you see a bunch of inns and taverns. Uh, I will leave it up to you if you want to go left, if you want to go right, or if you want to cross the river over towards the shrines section, I don't mind. I like taverns. I'm looking yeah. for, a, what do you think? A place that it doesn't have to be high class. It looks like it just has to be fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good enough for me. That sounds... I know no Cathaway enough by now. Uh, both of you roll a d12. Tell me who gets the high one. Yeah. Sorry while I eat, folks. And <laughs> you get the three. Ah, uh, Urbanio, a large beetle buzzes around your head. Would you like to swat at it? <laughs> yes. Initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're starting already. Uh, thirteen. Nineteen. Uh, go ahead and take a whack at it. Just them, okay. Uh, 21 to oh, hit easily for two damage two damage is plenty give me a d20 roll 1 to 10 is one result 11 to 20 is a different one uh, 18 18 it is. Uh, as you swat the beetle into the cobblestones, a mage comes running up and goes, What have you done? Uh, the mage is an elderly man. Uh, looks a little transmutation kind of wizardly. Uh, and he's pissed. Uh, apparently, give me an uh. intelligence check. Let's see if you figured it out. Hmm. Uh. Mm, 15. Uh, you probably just killed his familiar. I demand <laughs> retribution. Am I right there? You're right there. Or did I keep walking down the street and not even realize what's going on? Your choice. 
Um, I start to, and then I hear that and turn around and look and go, oh, what the friggin'. Urbanio, how would you like to go ahead and handle this initial encounter? I'm gonna, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna intimidate him that maybe he should uh, take better care of his familiar and not let it buzz around people's heads if it's a insect. Fair enough. Go ahead and give me an intimidation roll. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a plus six for intimidation, but I rolled a net one. Nicely done. Uh, he magic missiles you. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, I know. I can't believe Urbanio did that. What a dick. Oh, oh, no, I mean, my God, it's another NPC that's a dick. Six hit points of damage as you feel your chest get lit up by the wizard. Dicks? How many six? You've been, you've been in Cathaway for two fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's our missile. What, two missiles? Two missiles. Two missiles. Um, I'm going to step. I mean, yeah, but I've been hearing this whole thing and watching now because I said I walked back and I'm like, no, he's absolutely right. You let your beetle get away from you. Keep your familiar closer and then it won't end up squashed on the floor or on the ground. Go ahead and roll uh, intimidation. Ugh, mine's not that great. Well, then maybe you should oh. shut up. <laughs> What is it? I'm going to go. Uh, that would be, yeah, it's only a seven because my dice roll suck. Uh, We're great tonight. Urbanio, you're up. The wizard is fiddling with something in his pocket. Uh, give me a con save. <coughs> uh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Uh, 18 on the roll, minus one, 17. Let's see. Okay, give me a second. Uh, he takes five damage. Okay. That works. Uh, the item that he was fiddling for uh, is produced. It is a sliver of a gemstone that is about the size of a coin. And he does this, and then he disappears. Wait, does that count as a loose eye? Is a uh, that's right? Let him go. Does it count as a loose, unsecured object? No, he no. It's he's got a uh, small it. chain on it. Never mind then. Okay, uh, nothing happened that you are aware of uh, i'll take an arcana but it's going to be 24 to figure out what uh, it is uh i can't make that i'll just leave on the nope okay, okay. Uh, the chance i rolled a nat 20 <laughs> so whatever this wizard has done he's no longer around or he's invisible fucking wizards uh radio uh you're up on the uh, hit list. Is there anything you'd like to do? He's not there, so I keep, I turn around and hey, let's go to the tavern. Yeah, I'm that sure. sounds good. Fair enough. This will come back to haunt us. Sometime uh, what? Soon. Why would it come back to haunt you? I, it's 100% going to come back to haunt I, us. I think it is perfectly oh, fine. I think you guys are just overly concerned is what my opinion is. So going to come back and blow us up. <laughs> as, as you walk towards the tavern of your choice, you notice the sign overhead has three balls and the, the uh, name of the establishment is Marbles. You walk in and there's a large, genuinely charismatic gentleman on top of a table singing uh. a jaunty tune and everybody around the table is joining him. Uh, it seems to be a very spirited event, uh, and this guy is just a real charmer. Hey, you should go join and, join and sing. You're good at this. I was going to say I want to do an intelligence check to see if I recognize the individual. Sure, go ahead. That's a good point, but... I'm pretty sure I know who it is anyways. Uh, 19... Uh, you know, 
You've heard of a hero in this town of Cathaway by the name uh, of Dwayne the Brick Johnson, oh, a very of charismatic it's individual, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, his bulging biceps is leading a jaunty tune. You're pretty sure that this is the hero of Cathaway. Oh, then, yeah, that's a, I decided to. Since it's that uh, famous a figure that I'd make the role to, so that's an 18. So I'm sure. going to say, I know this. This is, sorry, this is two. The uh, I, I go up to the table and do this. Okay, we've got a uh, fan girl, uh, or Banio. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to go to the bar and order a drink and a burger. Cool. Before you can, the song ends, and uh, the hero of Cathaway goes. Drinks are on me, folks. Ah! Uh, and everybody bum rushes the bar. Fortunately, Urbanio, uh, you were there. Uh, give me an uh, initiative check to see if you can beat me. Uh, 16. Nine. Uh, you get your order in just as the, uh, the bar just fills. Uh, the bartender shakes his head because... Apparently, he's used to this kind of crap, but uh, his waitresses have already started to pour beers, so it looks like, A, you're going to get your ale or whatever beverage <laughs> is uh, you wanted first. Uh, the burger's going to take a little bit of downtime to cook it. Uh, Rainia, you uh, give me an initiative roll to see how far ahead are you. I think I'm going to stay and flirt with them. Oh, okay. That's fair. Uh, so somebody, one of the waitresses uh, swings by and gives him a big old mug and he just <laughs> drains it, but he's got foam that makes him look like Santa now. Uh, uh, Urbanio, uh, there's a little bit of jostling, a little bit of pushing and shoving, uh, but nothing that uh is anything that you can't tolerate unless you'd like to just go ahead and blast somebody. Uh, yet. Okay. If I see that fucking wizard though. Sure. Uh, on your left is a lady and her charisma is four. <laughs> on, mm. on your right is a dude and his charisma is 18. So you struck out. <laughs> Yeah. That's how he's, uh, did you just assume? I, I, I did assume, and that was incorrect. Uh, Rainia, uh, <laughs> Dwayne the Brick Johnson backhands the foam away, looks down at you and goes, and jumps off the table into a crowd of his friends. Uh, Ur- Urbano, <laughs> the male, turns to you and goes, wow, that, that Brick, he's awesome. Rainia, what would you like to do? Uh, I will, when the bar kind of clears out, I'll oh, just they, walk. They, they all move to the bar, so you're going to wait till it clears out. Right, I'm just going to wait. I okay. mean, I'm going to assume they're not going to run out of beer, so. That, that's a fair assessment. Okay. Urbanio? Mm-hmm. I'll say to the man next to me, hey, he seems okay. Okay? If it's Dwayne the Brick Johnson and he just bought you your ale. What is wrong with you? And the guy pokes you in the chest. <laughs> Mike, it's a boy. You are. Jesus, really you're good pissing to... everybody off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot. Can what? I change that to a persuasion attempt? Sure. To persuade ahead. him that he's just okay. That is a 22. Uh, he doesn't poke you in the chest. He just shakes his head and goes back to his beer. So if I'm near that, those two, I would have, uh, what, sorry, um, Mike, what's the name of your bard again? Urbanio. Oh, Urbanio. Yeah. All right, I'm going to write it down because I will not remember. See, I wrote uh, it down, Radia and Urbanio. I know, I, I, I forgot to change my name. Uh, I'll, no, I'll, so there's a guy with an 18. 18 so charisma. Go, and I'll go up and I'll go, oh, no, I totally agree. That, he is so hot and he is amazing. Uh, the man agrees with you exponentially and he goes, he just makes my blood boil. Uh, about that time, Rainia, you feel a tap on your shoulder. 
I, will, I turn around and look. It is a bald man with a bead of hair sticking straight up about three inches, or in guy language, about 12 inches. Uh, and he hands <laughs> you a piece of parchment. I take it and I'll unroll it. The, he also hands one to the man with the 18 charisma. He wads it up, throws it over his shoulder, hitting her banio in the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> It Which is up. good because it almost landed in your beverage. <laughs> uh, also, your burger has arrived. So it didn't blow mm -hmm. up, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it appears to be some kind of religious pamphlet uh, stating the need for uh, Cathaway to get clean. It's kind of a green announcement from the brother Brothers of the Green. You mean Druids? Sure, we'll go with Druids. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah. I want to use my loot as a weapon. What's the <laughs> what's the roll? Uh, it's an improvised weapon. I'll give you dexterity. I assume you're gonna whack uh, Mr. Charisma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Go ahead and hit him. Love. So that's uh. Right. Twenty three to hit. He's a normal citizen, so a 10 would have done it. So you crack him upside the head with your loot. It doesn't break, uh, which is the other end of the spectrum. How much uh, <laughs> blunt damage? I'll say uh, D6 plus strength. Five. Uh, he's unconscious. Uh, you know what? He falls forward, pitching himself into Rainia's bosom and before sliding off her right breast onto the floor. You know, <clears throat> hey, e been... easy pickings, Rainia. <laughs> What's that? Easy pickings. Hey, you can take him home right now. You can take him on the floor for it, for it, all anybody cares. <laughs> oh, that it's Rainia. That would be tempting, but he's unconscious. That's just not as much fun. Um, and I'm still expecting a wizard to show up all pissed off. I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. I don't know, this, is, this is Philbar, man. This that shit doesn't happen. <laughs> Except when it does. Yeah, Urbanio. All give the me time. A, give me a con check, not save. Con check. See how you enjoy the burger. Eighteen. You like it a lot. Must have peanut butter on it. I think it's the Dwayne Purvis, all American peanut butter in on the lower deck. For the touchdown. Hey, those are pretty good. Those are excellent burgers. Folks, if you're ever in West Lafayette, Indiana, home of Purdue University, swing by the Triple X and have yourself a Dwayne Purvis All American. <laughs> Peanut butter on the lower deck, in for the touchdown. Radio. After, after uh, we're uh, done with this whole pandemic business, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Stay inside, stay six feet across, whatever, blah, blah. Uh, Radio, you just had a guy slide off your boob. What do you want to do with him? Oh, and well, first I'll look at Bonnie. But did you really have to do that? Oh yeah, he clocked him. He, he clocked him big time. <laughs> it was a Bugs Bunny Daffy Duck moment. He just clocked him. I wonder why he clocked him. Like, why did you have to do that, man? Yeah, he's being a bit of an ass. I did go a little overboard. <laughs> a little overboard. Are we um, um, we're fine. I'm going to take a, is there like a glass of water? I can get a glass of water. I want to splash in his face, try to wake him up. Uh, you see a, a glass of clear liquid, uh, at the next person over. See, I mean, I know he was knocked unconscious, but sometimes this works. Yeah. So I'll take it, grab it and splash him in the face. Hey, wake up. Slap, slap, slap. Uh, well, the gin uh causes a lot of pain in his eye and he just convulses immediately but is snapped out of his unconscious state he's looking around trying to figure out what happened anybody want to give him a suggestion or solution because everybody else in the bar is too enthralled with their free beverages and Dwayne the brick johnson some asshole wizard beat you over the head with his staff oh man yeah. i hate wizards did you get him for me <laughs> Yeah, yeah he, we totally he... did. We totally did. <laughs> I mean, these blades, you know, are I put them to good use. Uh, I'll make Ur Urbanio, do you do you want to offer a suggestion on this one? No, nah, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you hear what in the hell is going yes. on, and it's from the doorway you guys walked in. 
I look over. Same. There's three guards. Well, I'm eating my burger the entire time. Okay, there's three guardsmen, one criminal, and a guard leader, uh, who is the boisterous one. Uh, the criminal in custody looks around with a sneer on his face. Somebody's looking at him near the door, and he goes, What are you looking at, future dead guy? Uh, the guard wants to know what all the ruckus is about. Dwayne the Brick Johnson comes up, pats him on the shoulder. Hey, man, sorry, we'll try and keep it down. We're just enjoying our libations, just having a good time. Sorry if we've caused a problem. The man blushes and says, oh, Mr. Brick, no apologies necessary. I understand. <laughs> the guards leave. The criminal spits on the guy who is looking at him uh, and is subsequently backhanded by one of the guardsmen. Uh, that group leaves. Uh, the boisterous activity continues. Uh, Urbanio, give me a D6. Let's see which direction we're going to take this hot mess. One. One it is. Uh, you hear some loot strings. Bing, 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 bing. Over in the corner on the far side uh, where the man got spit on. As you both look over, you see a human female uh, tuning her instrument and appears to be getting ready to do a performance. I'm going to go over and challenge her to the loot duel. Oh, very nice. The devil, a.k.a. Urbanio, came to town. <laughs> Urbanio Daniels. That's right. Uh, <laughs> the woman introduces herself as Sage Surplus, uh, but give me a perception <laughs> check. Just him? Just him. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, there's something wrong with her voice. Uh, you can tell it's almost like she has a cold or something. Uh, mm. Rainia, uh, the guy uh, gives you two kisses on the cheek, one left, one right, and goes, thank you for protecting me, light of my life. How may I repay you? <laughs> <laughs> Using that famous seduction. Oh, you mean this? That's right. Mm. It's, it, it's a slow move. Because it's determination and confidence. I right, let's see. So she's got a place to stay here. I mean, she, you guys Rainy, just it, got into town. Oh, see, she was, <laughs> <laughs> was coming back from something, and she lives here. Um, that's why uh, we. You know like, what? D twelve against me. All right, fine. Eleven. Oh, you're gonna get. Yeah. Fine, I just got into town. Yep. Uh, well, my know, place is. Right next door. I can show you some of my etchings. Etchings? I'm a bit of a painter. I do erotic etchings. <laughs> Me laughing. Moving over to Urbanio, because yeah. Carol absolutely hates it when I do the cutaway. Ur Urbanio, uh, Sage Surplus says, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, kind sir, I... I, I I would be happy to, um, but I am feeling a little under the weather. I've a, I have a screeching headache. Um, could I take a rain check? Or, um, judging from your garb, I see that you may be an adventurer, possibly. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I I I have a problem. You're a fellow bard, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, I have recently what? had a problem uh, with Madame Zune, um, and she has gone ahead and cursed me. Uh, and I, I'm just trying to get enough money to go ahead and pay her off so that she can take away my splitting headache and give my <coughs> melodic voice back. Perhaps, uh, being a fellow bard, you know, uh, a little one-to-one, uh, -one, uh, you might be able to help me and uh, go speak to her on my behalf. And then I will happily go ahead and bard off with you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Uh, this was just a uh, flight of fancy, so to speak. That's fair. 
Uh, mm-hmm. she, she Best of it. luck with your curse and all. Thanks a lot. I'll go ahead and do my best. Uh, do you go back to the bar or where do you go next? Mm. As you What's turn, you can, doing? See, you can see Don't. she's making time with fancy pants. Mm. Why? Jealous? You can come with us. <laughs> Somebody yeah. has to do the etchings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, I'm gonna do it uh, as you turn around Urbanio uh, Charisma 4 female goes I think you could have won and you can tell that ugh, she has bad breath uh, she's not very attractive uh, and she's just really offensive to you but she seems to be enamored with you oh you're gonna kill her apparently <laughs> <laughs> well let's see the first one was a nat 20 and the second one was a nat 20 for the confirmation so what are you go- what are you going to do to her because i'm pretty I was sure just that- gonna punch her in the face oh you kill her instantly <laughs> all three of her teeth go <laughs> skittering across the floor two of them <laughs> land one at rainia and one at floyd the charmer <laughs> really i look at you we're ready again really <laughs> A pool of blood begins to form under the old hag. <laughs> we'll call her. Uh, we'll call her Share the Hag. <laughs> no offense, Share. I love you, but <laughs> we're gonna use your name. Uh, so you've killed Share the Hag. Uh, every noise in the bar stops. <laughs> the guy that got spit on looks down at his plate of food. And pulls up the third tooth, <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's got blood splatter <laughs> down his face from the punch. <laughs> so, um, you guys are making a hell of an impression, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Dwayne, Dwayne the Brick Johnson looks over at you across the room and goes, "Not cool, man." <laughs> don't know him. I, go, uh, I think I look over at my new friend and go, maybe we should go to your place now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Floyd McConaughey says, This way, oh, my princess. <laughs> and I should have decked him instead. <laughs> Rania, he escorts you to the back door. Probably not the first time tonight, but he, nope. he, he gets you to the back door and uh, he points across the street to where his inn is. Would you like to travel with him? Uh, yeah. Uh, Urba- a- Urbanio. <laughs> that other guy. Just, you know, um, I came in with him too, so it's like. Just, <laughs> I am now trying to pretend I no longer have an association with him. <laughs> Ur- Urbanio, what would you like to do now that you are now alone as Rainia, I'll do anything once, has been whisked away by Floyd the Charmer? With an 18. <laughs> and you've killed Cher the Hag. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go find a uh, an inn to rest at that's not related to this tavern that I'm currently in. Cool. Very good. Uh, are you going to go out the same door that you came in, or are you going to go to the back door where Rainia left? Uh, same one, I came, which is closer. Uh, the one you came in on. The one I came in. Okay. Uh, Rainia, as Floyd the Charmer takes you out the back door, he goes, My dear, my room overlooks the market. We can both watch it together as we make love throughout the evening. Give me a perception check. And Um, Urbanio, give me a perception check. (laughs) Oh, my freaking God. Nope, I'm too focused on him. Okay. Net, net 20. Hey. Urbanio, as you walk out, there's a uh, totem posting right there with a variety of different jobs. Uh, one of the jobs is uh, already taken, uh, but you notice something unusual. There is a wanted poster <laughs> with your face and Rainia's face on it. <laughs> Uh, apparently, you are wanted for the murder of a familiar. 
And how did uh, they already have that done? It's only magic like stone. It's a Polaroid magic stone. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. The reward is two hundred gold pieces at Oz the Great and Powerful. Does my does it have like a? Hey, you're you're amused with Floyd the Charmer. Oh, I know. I'm just curious if he notices, and I see a reaction. Oh, uh, I'm sure he's going to shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can I jot down where I can get in contact with Oz the shithead? Uh, <laughs> Oz apparently needs no address. You can probably ask somebody if you'd like. Also, right. dark storm clouds approach. Rain I'm is going, on the way. I'm going to go into the nearest alleyway and slip on a disguise. Okay, fair enough. Give me a stealth, or, yeah, give me a stealth check. 19. Fair enough. You can be whatever you want to be. Uh, Rainia, as you walk across the street with Floyd Charmer, he's uh, not whispering sweet nothings. He is going into great detail as to what you and he are going to accomplish this evening. But as you get to the entrance to his inn, there is a street performer. Give me an odd even roll, please. Odd. Uh, okay. Even. Ah, very good. They are very good. They are belly dancers. But one of them go stops her performance in mid-shake and uh -oh. goes, Floyd, who is this? <laughs> I'm Radia. Who are you? I am his wife. Well, apparently... <laughs> <laughs> Be happy because if he was looking. That's how you're gonna go ahead and broach this. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, you didn't. You he didn't say anything about you. <clears throat> but I'm more than happy to let you have him. Give me what a the chances Floyd has brain damage right now from that <laughs> hit earlier. That's true. I mean, he was knocked unconscious <laughs> by a loot. Uh, uh, Urbanio, uh, as you don your disguise, you hear a verbal argument around the other corner. I'll go check it out stealthily. Uh, you see a bunch of belly dancers circling around uh, Floyd the Charmer and Rainia, who seems to be antagonizing the members of the group. Uh, Rainia, give me a persuasion check. <clears throat> All right, come on, die. All right, 15. She's not sure that she can take you in her current attire. And one of her friends steps up, taps her on the shoulder, indicating that the other belly dancers are with her if she wants to make a move on you. Ding, you really want to do this? Oh, whipping out the blades in Cathaway already. <laughs> hey, they're, they're, they're obviously, I, I can tell enough that they're threatening. Okay, so. Sure. Yeah, that works. Uh, Urbanio, you see that Rainy has gone to the steel. Looks like it's going to be the rumble in the jungle. I really mm. don't want to actually murder anybody. I'm... <clears throat> so wait, so you really want to, you are not armed. I really don't want to do this. You just let me walk away and it's all good. Urbanio, ball's in your court. I'm going to take out my pipe and just observe for the time being. <laughs> Cool. No, none of them know I'm there, correct? I'm still in correct. stealth. You're in I'm, wearing any, I'm wearing a disguise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody knows. Just... You can walk up to her and she would not even be able to recognize you. Nope. So here comes the bad news. Urbanio, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, my. No. It is a thin male wearing a long, almost robe-like coat. And he goes, hey. You want to buy an artifact? How much gold do I have on me, Frank? Uh, you know what? 2d4 times 100. Oh, for both of you. <clears throat> that would be... Um, 600. Okay. Uh, what do you got? I have a magical turtle shell. It used to belong to a paladin. 
and he whips his robe off, and there is this shimmering shell that used to be owned by Ryan before the guards took him and <laughs> killed him. <laughs> ah, I remember <clears throat> using that thing like a fucking uh, pinball. Correct. <laughs> so it does have uh, some scratches. Yeah, it's still a knife. Uh, is that all you got, though? I have a magical pipe. What's magical about it? When you blow it, bubbles come out, and everybody is happy. How much? D12 against me. Ten. Eleven? I like the cut of your jib. Two hundred gold pieces. Done. <clears throat> the bubbles of happiness can be used three times a day. It's essentially a bubble pipe. When the bubbles mm. come out, your opponents, actually everybody within a 15-foot radius, friend or <coughs> foe, have to roll a DC 15 versus charisma or be enamored, not charmed, so elves will take the hit, enamored by the bubbles and their emotions will be calmed. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, Rainia. Your, yeah. your intimidating presence seems to have taken uh, Mrs. Charmer uh, <laughs> aloof, and then one of her friends taps her on the other shoulder and points. Do you want to look at what she's pointing to? <laughs> <laughs> Insight check. Because I've seen, of course, I don't have a very good insight check. Oh, I rolled a 13, though. You notice the tapping and pointing, and you... Whoop. So I do So I do think that she legitimately is looking at something. There is a wanted poster <laughs> <laughs> with your face and her banyas face, and everybody does this. <laughs> um, <laughs> you and see... I read it, it like... Give me, a, give me, hold on. Give me a, uh, both of you go ahead and roll for initiative, please. And by the way, that always is my reaction. Oh, fuck. 15. Well, I'm so I'm on a five. It's a roll of one. I'm five, I guess I go, are you freaking shitting me? Uh, Urbanio, you will go ahead and be able to do whatever you want to do first. Uh, artifact guy is still there if you want. Mm. But you can tell uh, the tide seems to have turned on uh, Rainia. Can I ask him quickly for a list of what else he has? Uh, well, I, I've got the finger of Vecna. Uh, it will pick your nose for yeah, you. Yeah, no thanks. I, no. <laughs> I've had enough bad rounds with Vecna in the past. I have a magic bagel. <coughs> What's magic about it? It tastes really good, and the next morning it comes back to you. Oh, God. Hmm. Infinite bagel? Yes. Anything else, or is that it? Uh, I got one other thing, uh, man of your stature, because you're a halfling, right? Uh, I got one more thing. Ah, uh, magic legs from Lieutenant Dan. What do the magic legs do? Make me taller? Yes. He pulls out a pair of, like, two-by-twos uh, with notches in them, uh, but they have leather straps, so you can strap them to your calves, and it will give you an extra foot on height. So it's, a, it's stilts. Yes. Yes. Are they actually magical, or are they just stilts? Or stilts. <laughs> uh, how much for the bagel? Uh, D12 against me. Three. Twelve. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is a really good bagel. Uh, how about 200? All right, sure. Yeah, okay. You've got the infinite bagel. I'm going to eat the bagel. Uh, Carol, uh, you have lost initiative, and you, yep. see, you see everybody look... And everybody look back at you, and they look back at the poster, and look back at you, and the friend who tapped her to point out the uh, wanted poster is doing this. Guards! 
<laughs> so they're not attacking. They are not attacking. Well, hell no, you're a wanted criminal. They aren't going to attack you. They okay. all start to chime in like birds, screaming, uh, guards, guards, guards. I'd run. Which, On my initiative, I'd <clears throat> run. Which direction do you run? Do you run towards the marketplace or down the street further? Down the street further. Urbanio, you see that she is going to go past you, uh, and she is, I assume, dashing? Yes. I will use all my actions, because I get additional ones. I can dash as a bonus. Sure. Three moves, so that I can move 90 feet around. It's a good thing you didn't buy the magic stilts, Urbanio, because they actually have your movement. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering if they were magic. Yeah, she's taken off, so... I don't know he's there, so... No, you, yeah, you have no yeah. idea. I, I'm hoping he didn't... I'm hoping he saw that. I'm gonna uh, follow her to the best of my ability. Fair enough. Uh, Rainia, D12 Which is again. less than half speed. <laughs> this is so much fun, though. No, God, Eight. why can't roll three uh your fast escape uh causes a horse just ahead of you to rear up and it spills its cart knocking vegetables all over the street and people are starting to trip give me a dc 12 versus dexterity to deftly avoid the overturned <laughs> produce urbanio okay. you will be next as you are in, uh, in check, slow right? pursuit yes Dexterity check, DC 12. I can't roll anything. That's a seven. You slip on a banana. <laughs> of course. Ur Urbanio, uh, you're going to gain a little bit 23. of 23. There you go. Uh, Urbanio catches up to Rainia. Would you like to say, hey, it's me? Because she ain't going to recognize you. I'm just going to help her up and say, let's go. Rainia, uh, Vagrant is picking you up. He might be trying to pickpocket you. Um. Sense motive? Do I really need to make this because he's being on the level here? Uh, uh, you don't know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's sense motive. What is it? It's in sight. So that's 12. Uh, you can thank him. He he doesn't take uh, any right, handsy moves or anything. No, he picks me up and he said, let's go. And I'm like, okay. So I go, thank you. And I start running. Okay. Whistles come from behind you. It's clearly the guards. Uh, and as you turn around, you see everybody pointing. <laughs> uh, people are slipping on tomatoes, fruits, and vegetables everywhere. Uh, the owner of the cart is, hey, hey, buffong you. Oh, oh. And he is also mad. You know what? That should have been cabbages. So we could have had my cabbages. You have no, to watch no. that avatar. No. No, not doing cabbage. <laughs> uh, you guys are upright and taken off. So do you want to continue down the street or do you want to hit a side street? Uh, <laughs> side street. You want to go to the side street to the right, or side street to the left? Which one less, and we quickly look and which one's less populated? Well, there's a big shrine on your left uh, and there's the smell of burnt shit on the right. Burnt shit. Burnt shit? Yeah, I'll bird shit i guess uh you head into the bakery district for those of you who watched boots that's where they're at uh as you tear down the street uh you're hoping that you've evaded the guards on this street uh you notice kids are playing in the street and it appears to be some kind of red rover game uh, okay. and there are so many kids here there's like 10 on each side uh, you're going to have to Red Rover through them in order to get past them. So oh, deck like save. Through? Deck save. Or you, can or you can just blast through them. I don't care. 23 decks. <laughs> the half leaner Banio, leaps over the small children. Uh, 17. Wait, as, uh, yep, uh, no, plus four. That's uh, 18. As does Rainia, you now find yourself in the middle of the two opposing lines. Uh, the kids that are facing you see you coming and a look of shock and horror fill their face as Rainia, a taller human, and Urbanio, what are you disguised as? A dwarf. Okay. Uh, as a very stout dwarf, 
are about to broach their lines. Uh, the kids that you jumped over are screaming bloody murder because oh, stranger God. danger, stranger danger. That is what they are yelling. <laughs> them. We're trying to avoid them. Uh, so you're going to have to make another dex check to get over line number two. That is a... Uh... Nope. 18. I get one good roll in a row. <laughs> That's a, that's a one, okay? Urbanio so launches himself like an NFL wide receiver <laughs> and deftly clears the other group. Rania trips on an upright cobblestone, and she is going to plow into a male boy. And his age oh. is three. <laughs> uh, you are going to knock him on. Conscious. Really, I can't do any. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Urbanio, you hear a brief shout from the child. You turn around, and she has dropped him at the three yard line. <laughs> uh, <sighs> the screaming kids uh, attract attention of at least eight mothers. <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna Come go into an. I'm gonna go into the nearest alleyway and change into a different disguise. <laughs> Uh, Rainy, you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, you notice a thin trickle of blood coming out of the youth's face. Can I? Because I'm, I'm a good person. Um, stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> I want to help that kid. I, I mean, I'm thinking about, can you feed an infant a healing potion? Oh, so, you, so you've injured a child and you're going to give him some strange concoction in front of the mothers. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I'll what say it? it'll help, and I, I will actually, I'll try. And I'll, I'll tell them that, you, can I make a persuasion check? Sure, tell them. You're, you're telling the mothers, right? Yes. Uh, the Every kids start yelling poison. She's poisoning him! Poison. Poison. It's a healing potion. In What's fact, your... I'll take I need to I'll take a sip of it myself to have them, you know, feel better about this. She's stealing our children. What, no, I'm not. What's I'm your persuasion trying... check? Uh, well, <laughs> that's good yeah. enough. Uh, the mothers have their frying uh, or their rolling pins beating it against their hand. Uh, Urbanio, you've ducked into a spot in between two buildings, rearranged your disguise. You are now a. Uh. What else is like halfling size? Gnome. Cold. Sure, no. You could be cold. No, no. Rainia, uh, the mothers look at you skeptically, but after seeing you take a sip of the potion, decide it's probably not poison. They wait. Do you use the potion on the child? I do. Uh, the blood dries up. The kid, however, <laughs> you're mean. Uh, the mothers shake, I know. shake their heads and return back into the building. Wait, wait, whose mother is this? Whose mother? Because I want to bring the child to his mother. My mother's dead. Thank you. <laughs> You've torn the scab off. <laughs> I'm an orphan. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Welcome what? to Cathaway, folks. He's an orphan. And you, oh, you, you're okay. trying to take, so you're trying to take him to the graveyard. Nice. No, 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 no. Who takes responsibility for this child? I am my he, own he, man. Okay. What? I, I feel like at age three, he's not going to be able to know how to say I am my own man <laughs> in this context. A 17 yeah. year old comes over and goes, I look after him. Thank you All for right. healing him. Can you give him a hug? Because he really needs one. And I'm not the person to give him one. Uh, the 17-year-old looks at him and goes, that's not my kind of cup of tea, lady. How about a little uh, coin for the trouble? No. And then I go <laughs> like... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, give me a perception check at disadvantage. Oh, Really? This is going to probably... Suck. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's you, a, you do uh, not notice the new eight. gnome on the side of the street. The what? The gnome oh. on the side of the street. Uh, do you want to go ahead and uh, oh, no. continue on? Do I want to what? Do you want to continue forward? 
noting that you've misplaced your associate? Yeah, well, I didn't know that was my associate anyway, so he took off. So That's true. I still don't know where my associate actually is. He just It's just these disguised individuals keep coming. Well, he's not tag and share the hag, that's for sure. <laughs> I've seen I mean, How are you going to tag her again? She's already dead. Of course, there is one thing. We have, I am fourth level. We've been traveling together for like the time. Do I recognize this disguise? Uh, per, your perception check at disadvantage? No. Yeah. Yeah, so All right. No. All right. You know what? Give me an insight check. If it's 16 or above, yeah. I'll acquiesce. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, Urbanio, uh, you see her start hauling ass after telling the 17-year-old yeah. to pff, jog on, and uh, she takes off. The faint sound of whistles can be heard, but they don't appear to be coming down the street. Both of you do notice the wonderful smell of baking and cooking, and an item is spotted on a nearby windowsill. It smells like blueberry oh, tarts. Oh. That's nice. Smells good. So, Rainia, do you continue to <laughs> flee, or do you want to investigate the tarts? I'm going to take a breather for a minute. <clears throat> because if they're, not, if they're not pursuing, then I don't have to run anymore. Yeah, it, it does not appear that they are... Uh, still in g -g 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 hot pursuit. Urbanio, what would you like to do? I'm going to catch up to her and say, hey, we should probably, you know, head somewhere. Uh, I'll explain that it's me. It's just a disguise. Okay. I'm looking at you funny. <laughs> what the hell? How the hell are there posters already? I mean, uh, it was, what, two hours ago? The wizard, uh, is wizards ain't got to explain and has shit. has a Xerox machine. <laughs> How do we how do we clear this up? Rania? Magic. <laughs> well, there's a simple way. We just we have to kill the wizard. Uh, yeah, but then we'll get rid of the wanted posters. D12, both of you, please. Oh man. Five. That's three again. Uh, Urbanio, you hear a. And a roof tile drops from the building where you two are standing. Give me a dex check. Or a dex save, rather. 18. Uh, you sidestep the noise, and the clay tile shatters next to you harmlessly. I'm going to look up to see what the hell just happened. It appears I... shoddy workmanship. I says nothing there. There is a strange pigeon looking at you. What do you think? Strange Jess? how. It seems to be looking at eyeballing that. you. And even from this distance, you can tell it has the brightest blue eyes you've ever seen. Not red, like a normal pigeon. I mean, I'm, I can see this too, right? Yeah. I'm looking up. Yeah, because you, you both looked up to see what the hell just happened. That's... Um, Five Gold says it's a uh, it's a familiar of some asshole wizard. <laughs> it probably is. I know. I kind of want to kill it now. <laughs> Make me feel... Hey, if I'm already going to jail for it, why not just jump? You know, it was a familiar. He was not keeping track of it. I do not trust the court system of Cathaway whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're already going up the river, geez, I kind of want to actually have a real reason to go up the river. Well, do you want to kill this pigeon? No, because I'm not a freaking evil dick. The oh. Oz, the great and powerful, would disagree. <clears throat> she didn't even do anything besides trying to defend me. Yeah. That's right. E evil dick. <laughs> uh, so the pigeon just... Can I get a con save on the pigeon? Sure. Uh, an 11. <coughs> the pigeon is blind and deaf for okay. a minute. Uh, it, right, uh... it walks off the edge of the roof and plummets to its death as it hits a metal it. rating. <laughs> Can I assess it? Can I inspect it since it's dead anyways to see if it's a... Uh... Uh, initiative against the stray cat that is eyeballing that thing. That's a nat 20, baby. <laughs> uh... 
13 for initiative. Yeah, that uh, 20. That cat, oh, it is a calico cat, leaps up onto the stoop where the pigeon <laughs> fell, snatches it up in its teeth, and makes a run for it. How far away is the cat? Uh, you, were, you were almost there, so about seven feet. Oh, we can't even get any luck when it comes to that. We, you know, we have something bad luck, and if we didn't have bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. Urbanio, what do you want to do about the cat and the pigeon? I'm going to run up and punt the cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the cat is trying to get away, uh, but unfortunately there are no alleyways in this location. So using Pythagorean theorem, give me an intelligence check to see if you can cut that thing off and punt it. It is a 15. You can figure out how to cut its escape off. Now go ahead and kick it. AC 8. Yeah. <laughs> that 20. Oh my god. <laughs> you did all the good rolls. You punt it through a window. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh -oh. hear a scream inside the area where the window has been shattered because Frank, now it has that one was that Tamlin that just screamed? Yeah, there's... <laughs> uh, so you, you have punted the cat and the pigeon into somebody's home. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to hide. Preferably in an alleyway. Uh, you're going to have to look for one because the cat couldn't find one. Radio... Well, going back the way we came there was one, right? Yes, back are there, right. Are, there, are there any boxes or things I could hide behind? Actually, now that you mention it, a bunch of papers scatter down the street. One of them gets caught by Rainia. Uh, give me a D12 or Banio against me to see if there's a box. Six. Eight. Yeah, there's a box. I'm going to hide behind the box so they can't see into the alley. What? Rainia, you see the gnome dive behind a box after... Or extra point is good. Uh, punting the cat through somebody's window. Oh, and there's feathers everywhere, by the way. Just feathers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Radia, what are you going to do? Well, what you said, I, I have a paper. So, what is the paper? Is it another wanted poster of me? And You reach down, <laughs> grab the paper, and you hear, hey, you, what'd you do to my window? <laughs> Because you are the only one in the street. <laughs> I didn't do anything. There's someone else here and he ran that way. Which Do you point the way that Urbanio ran? Uh, Like the, the street, not behind the boxes. Uh, give me that, persuasion. Persuasion or deception? Because I am lying. Uh, I'll give you deception. Okay. Your choice. Really Your choice. Either or, it's the same thing. It's just for flavor. Uh, 19. <clears throat> Is it those damn kids down the street? Yeah, it was totally. God, bad. I hate those goddamn kids. Thanks. And he goes in, and you can hear him muttering, and all of a sudden, the pigeon's thrown out the window, and then the cat's thrown out the window. Uh, both land uh, odd, close to Reina, even close to Urbanio. <laughs> Is the cat still alive? Ten. Nope, cat's dead. <laughs> uh, it lands just in front of the box where Urbanio is hiding. All right. Um, the I parchment wait. is the same as the, uh, what, Brothers of the Green? Yeah, Brothers of the Green gave you earlier. So basically, their, their, clean. their parchments are littering the city right now. Correct. <laughs> I crawled up and threw it in the alleyway. Give me I'm a D4. Down. If it's a oh, three, I'm... you're throwing it at Urbanio. No, I'm just throwing it on the street. I'm not throwing it at him. Jeez. All right, one. Okay. You throw it through the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God yeah, damn that's... it, you can't stop <laughs> throwing shit through my window. He went that way with the other one. Uh, the guy doesn't come out. He's just fucking pissed now. <laughs> He's probably going to get his shotgun or something. Okay. 
Blunderbuss. <laughs> That's right. He's gonna get a wand of magic missiles and just do some fucking damage. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when people are isolated in Cathaway. Uh, Urbanio, you see the pigeon and the cat land in front of you. Uh, and what you... I do an arcana check on the pigeon. Sure. That is a nineteen. You've heard of blue-eyed pigeons. You've never seen one. That's it? That's it. It's a regular Wait, pigeon. Oh. It was just a fat-ass pigeon that dislodged a loose roof tile. <laughs> well, it, you, it's the way you described it was looking at us. With really? Interest. Really? The DM was deceptive? That's a nat 20 on deception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh-huh. well... I'm going to go to Rainy and say, maybe we should uh, find a tavern to rest in for the night or something. Sure. Another? We had a place. Or sorry, an inn, not a tavern. Okay, fair. That's that's true. All right, we'll go find a find an inn. How about one that's same thing, not to, I don't, I don't care if it's, I don't, I'm not looking for five star. I'm looking for a decent. Well, you're in the bakery district. Uh, the streets are a little bit scarce right now, but good news. That is about to change. Both of you, perception check. Oh, God. It's going to be Dwayne and his fucking entourage, isn't it? Uh, oh, that's 18. Uh, 21. Uh, you both hear, stop him, stop him. And you turn around and you see the guy from the bar earlier in manacles running from the guards that had him in custody earlier. This is oh, the, the spitter. The one hit on the guy and threatened him? Yep. Uh, I'm going to trip him. Fair enough. Actually, I'm going to slide kick him. I'm going to slide kick his legs out from underneath him. Pele would be proud of you. <laughs> Go! Give me a hit. <clears throat> hey, Frank? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> in that 20... <laughs> I want to hide somewhere because the guards are coming. He's disguised, but I'm not. Uh, there's that box that he was hiding behind. All right, I go. I'm gonna hide behind. The <clears throat> straight okay, up, uh... straight up D20. Let's see if you slip on the cat gut. Oh, oh, six. <laughs> I probably went five. <laughs> <laughs> you you five. slip a little, but you manage to catch yourself. You dive behind the box. Just as Urbanio slides into second base, picking off the runner, <laughs> he slides across, chunk, 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 and leaves a blood streak down the middle of the street. The guards promptly just jump on him and start beating the shit out of him. Uh, he gets up a little bit dazed, glares at Urbanio, and goes, Rubio the knife. Never forgets your mind, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Uh, the guards then drag just him say, away. Just try and do it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he struggles against the guards. Let's see if he can break their grasp. Uh, 15, he managed to, to break out of one grasp, but not the other. Uh, they just sling him down and hit him again. Uh, the guard captain, or guard leader, looks at Ru- or Banio and goes, thank you, citizen. No problem. This I'll man search. was going to be trouble. <laughs> In his best RoboCop voice. Just glad to make sure uh, he doesn't cause any further trouble in this great city of Cathaway. We appreciate that, citizen. Have a good day. Is there anything Thanks. we can do for you? Uh, actually, might you be able to tell me where I can find Oz? Oz the Great and Powerful? Yes. Uh, his tower's near the clock tower. It's over by the marketplace, by the entrance to the city. Also, what kind of individual is Oz? Oz can be... temperamental. Uh, He frequently yells at kids to get off his cobblestones. Uh. So he's a crotchety old man. Pretty much. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, citizen. Thank you for helping. Keep Cathaway clean. And then a another stack of papers skitters by. 
Yeah. Urbanio, D12 against me. Oh, God. Five. Three. Uh, it's another wanted poster, but it looks nothing like you. No. The guard captain also gets one and goes, Duh! Adventuring scum. Citizen, have a good day. I want to ask the guard captain, so if this is put out by Oz, does nobody question this? This is more of a civil writ of attachment, not an okay. actual warrant. All right. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, citizen. They turn and haul uh, Rubio the knife away, who is just glaring daggers at you, Urbanio. It, it, it seems that you've uh, found a friend. Mm, mm. Uh, Rania, you <coughs> noticed this from the cover of the box. What do you want to do? I'm going to come out after the guards leave. Okay. And, uh, like, uh, and I go, I heard the whole thing, so I'm like, so what's your play? You want to go to Oz's and, what, deal with them? Yeah. Yeah, I want to change my disguise first. Well, I have I have a suggestion on that. Um, maybe you should disguise yourself as Oz and get to and say that you made a mistake. Oz was a human. Yeah, I need those stilts. He that... needs those stilts. Ah, it's, it's funny how... Well, <laughs> if I recall, wait, wait. If I recall disguise self in D&D, &D, you can change your size, but if somebody touches you, they're going to know. But you can appear to be... It, you can appear to be that person. Uh, he's he's going to have to grow about three feet. If, no, it's it's not that. It's an illusion. It will go three feet. But if somebody tried to touch their head, there wouldn't be anything there. They'd be just touching blank air. I think that's how disguise self works nowadays. That's how well, it's a illusion. disguise kid, not self. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a disguise kid. Oh, I thought yeah, you're a He's a bar. <laughs> Maybe you had disguise self. <laughs> nope. Ah, damn it. I wish you had it because then we could disguise. you could disguise yourself as the... So then, I don't know, maybe we need to leave him alive and try to scare him into uh, dropping the charges. I mean, or if you just kill him, nobody's there to, to so collect. If we kill him, the charges will still be there. We'll still be mm. wanted for... You know, Audrania, even Urbanio. Oh, boy. Urbanio, a <laughs> female dressed in scant clothing, approaches you and goes... Hey there, short stuff. Looking for some me time? Not what? with you. Her charisma is 17. Excuse me, B. Uh, mine's 18, by the way. Okay. Hmm. She's significantly taller than you. Hmm. That's nice. Not interested, my no. friend? No. What about Maybe you, my dear? <laughs> I would normally, like, basically right now, Rainy is doing this to try to hide because of, she's, her face is all over the place. You don't need to throw a bag over it, hon. I work on coin. <laughs> no, I'm not interested right now. Suit yourself. I could do halvesies. No. It's about not that about time, a large man comes over and goes, Hey, are you messing with my woman? <laughs> She's messing with us. Take her back. We have no interest in her. You say that? Yes. D12 D D against me. Oh. I don't know what this is. So. 11. If he, if he lose, he takes as an insult. Oh, I got a 12 this time. <laughs> Fine. Work the other side of the street. And the pair walk away. So you're you left alone. Yeah. I don't have to do that kind of work. It's second story work. Yeah. It is for the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you're in the middle of the bakery district. Uh, it's, it's starting <coughs> to push towards uh, evening meal time. <clears throat> Another... How far can we see the uh, the wizard tower from here? Not, not from this location. You're a good 10 to 12 blocks away. You can see burnt mm. ruins of a major portion of a city street. Looks like there was a fire of some kind. 
I think Rania knows that place pretty well, actually. Were you in Boots? Up in jail after that. Hmm. I was going to say, wait, what about the uh, underground crab fighting rings? Oh, yeah, they have those here in Cathaway. Well, we could go uh, punch out a wizard. Let's go punch. Could... All right. Does it I say like otherwise that. we could check out the crab fighting? Mm, yeah, but we're wanted, and there'll be other people there who might have seen. I mean, we seem to be all over. It's now. an illegal crab fighting ring. It's an we underground right crab fighting ring. <laughs> I don't care if you want to go there first. We can, otherwise. Initiative. Oh, oh what the frick now? Eighteen. Six. Uh, eleven. A group of drunken revelers is wandering very close to you. They don't seem to notice you, and they're it, clearly inebriated but laughing. That was that required initiative? Yeah, because you guys get to do something before they get to do something. They're, they're heavily <laughs> drunk? Pretty much. I'm going to move my full movement speed away from them. Okay. Like, Rainia? Whatever direction they're going, I'm moving They're coming perpendicular. At you? Okay, very good. So I'm moving perpendicular to the direction they're going. Are you going would... to the box again? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over by that wall. Okay, fair enough. Rainy? What direction do they seem to be? Uh, on a scale of one to ten? Sure. I know I have a D ten around here somewhere. A nine. Oh, so really drunk. They're trash. All right, so I'm going to delay a little bit, and I'm going to try to pick someone's pocket. Okay. Probably someone that looks like they got something to pick. Actually, can I throw a rainy of bardic inspiration? Sure. Uh, there are four of them, and what? number two seems to be the best dressed. Quite the right. dandy. What's your bardic inspiration? Six? D6. Yeah, one D6. Uh, you see a golden chain probably to what will be a pocket watch if one I'm exists in Cathaway. So sleight of hand. Oh, that's really good, actually. Hey, about time I got a good roll. That's a 22 without the inspiration. Uh, you bump into the man. Sorry, my oh. friend. I didn't mean to. Uh... Give, give me deception to see if they believe you. Deception? No. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, that was even better. That's a 19 on the dice, so that's a 23. They don't even notice that you bumped into them. They're, they're pretty trashed. As they walk <laughs> past, you take a look, and it is a golden chain attached to inlaid circles... It's like a circle, and then on the other side, it's a circle, and then there's another circle, and they're all connected with a very clear spindle. Oh, that's but each cool. each circle can move independently. So it's a gyroscope? Yes. Well, oh. that's what it looks like. I will show. Uh, <clears throat> hey, hey, I'll wait till they go by, and I'll double back around and go, hey, check this out, and I'll bring it over. Bonnie, I'll check this out. What do uh, you think? Arcana check on it? Sure. Is it magical? Uh, 17. Can you detect magic? Uh, no. Can Rainia detect magic? Oh, can't, no. Uh, this thing is covered in sigils and looks like it might be magical. Uh, it kind of looks like what the sailors use as a gyroscope, uh, but you really can't be sure. There are three rings yeah. that clearly move independently. I think I'm going to put it away for now. We get other Yeah, that's, that's probably the best. No, it's not the best. <laughs> uh, clear enough. Uh, you probably sell for pretty good coin, too. So, uh, you're still stuck in the middle of the baker's district. You hear the mothers yelling for the kids to come in and eat. Uh, your choice is simple. You're on a major artery in the baker's district, or you can go ahead and meander back towards the square 
and see if you can find Oz the Great and Powerful. I want to... What's that? I want to grab a bunch of the... Uh, Children? Uh, but, no. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> The uh, the stupid Greenpeace pamphlets. Sure. Uh, uh, and stuff them in my bag. I could use this kindling later. Give me a D20. Yeah. 16. You managed to get 16 pieces of the Keep Cathaway Khalid. Excuse me. I love the irony. Uh, it was all I'll... unplanned, I'm sure. Also, before we go out into Main Street again, I'm going to change into a uh, female dwarf disguise. Okay. I'm going to put my hood up, if anything else. Okay. Uh, it seems to be getting dark, probably because of the high city walls. Uh, and as uh, the mothers have denoted, it's dinner time, and you hear a... Except for you, Urbanio, because that burger was great. I said the bagel. Oh, that's right. I'll get back tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be. It will return in twenty four hours. <laughs> Neat. So, bagel. do you guys want to go towards the burnt section of the Baker's District, or back the way you came? Burnt, se burnt yeah. section. Burnt section because it's less related. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to avoid people, so. Well, you yeah. go past where Rainia attempted to murder a child. <laughs> you get hey. you get back onto the main drag where. Uh, the temple is having services. If you go left, it will take you back to the uh, belly dancers, Dwayne the Brick Johnson, and Market. And to the right, you think, will take you to the docks. Gun go said we should go to the Market District. Yeah, because it's, it's near the Market District, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, then we're going to head there. Yeah. Uh, the belly dancers... Uh, Rainia, D12 against me. Let's see if the belly dancers have moved oh, on. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to... Oh, no. They totally spot me. Three? One. One. Uh, they do not spot you because they are not there. However, up on the second floor of the inn where uh, Floyd the Charmer was going to take you, you see he and uh, Esmeralda, not the Blake character, but a good-looking woman, uh, both <laughs> leaning out the window in jagged, forceful motions, similar to what his erotic etchings were probably created from. Wow. I'm going to grab a stone from nearby and check it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are you aiming for Floyd the Charmer or Esmeralda? Floyd. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How uh, far are we? <laughs> you're gonna get, you're gonna get it spotted, you. I'm I'm a, I'm a female no or female dwarf. Yes, but I'm with you. <laughs> did, did you? Did you hit Floyd? <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's a 23 to hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, try to hide under this, but it might not be you, that. <laughs> you clock Floyd right in the temple. He goes limp in more ways than one and lands atop Esmeralda, <laughs> pinning her to the windowsill, and she gives out gasping screams of, <laughs> 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 But she does not <laughs> notice you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dumb shit. All right. Let's continue on. Uh, it just, it felt like the right thing to do, really. It kind of was, but let's go. We have more pressing business. You have reached the marble and the marketplace. <coughs> continue uh, on towards, or will, can we see the tower? Uh, you can see three towers. One oh, is a big yeah. clock tower. Uh, and that sits right in the middle of Cathaway Square. Uh, the other two mm -hmm. towers appear to be old guard towers. Probably from the old city walls. Yeah. Tower so, left, uh, tower right. Bell Tower Center. Left? Fair enough. Uh, the bell towers begins to chime 
so it must be on the hour of some kind. Uh, okay. You said left. That would be yeah. odd. Fair enough. Uh, you see a sign as a stone crest over the door, and emblazoned in this stone crest is Oz the Great and Powerful. Oh, yes, that's it. Well, shall we? Do we, yep. do we want to come up with some sort of game plan, or do we just want to commit wizard side? <laughs> uh, ideally, I'd like to get him to drop the charges. And if he doesn't, then commit wizard side. Yeah, that, that sounds good to me. So I go up. Is there a, so there is a door. I'm going to, I want to check out the door and the carpet. If there is one or anything else that could freaking kill me. Uh, there's a small stoop, uh, yeah. two magically illuminated rods, probably continual light spells, uh, an arched door, uh, and a knocker that looks like the back of the tomb of horrors scenario. It's the very famous evil horned uh, creature oh, okay. holding a ring in its mouth. Wait, the portal? The yes. one that says Yes, ice cream? only there's a ring in the mouth, so you use it as a knocker. Oh, it's not that, at least. That's a, they, hey, every party I know, other than the couple of us, always loses someone to that friggin' portal. Uh, I want to check it out for traps. Sure. There's an investigation, right? Yep. I do have a spell called Knock that would probably be useful here. <laughs> sure. on, a, on a wizard's <laughs> tower? Sure. I can pick it. That's a 20 investigation. <clears throat> See, traps. And... No traps. All right. Is it locked? Oh, of course it's locked. It's a wizard's okay. tower. I'm going to cast some Knock on the door. Sure. What knock level? Times. What? What level are you casting it as? Two. Oh. Yeah. No. Well, so obviously it's the, the tower is enchanted by a wizard of superior level. It says it was if it's held shut by an arcane lock, it's suppressed for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's suppressed, or no? Mm -mm. But the door opens, and a diminutive little pixie with floaty wings says. May I help you? Yeah, we, we'd like to see your master. My master is not here. Where is he? He is at the UCFC. What is that? At a, yeah, what's that? It is underground the underground crab, fighting. crab fighting contest. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you very much. You're we'll welcome. be on our way now. Let's go. The door shuts. Tinkerbell goes away. All right. Let's get... Let's head to that by the most direct route. Yeah. I'm going to be lightly shouting under my breath, crab battle, crab battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Where are you we going? Heard, we go basically the most direct way in case he leave, decides to leave so we can, you know, catch him on the way home. Okay. Where are you going? To... What's the name of the place I had the crab fighting? It wasn't just Joe's Crab Shack, was it? It was Joe's Crab Shack. Oh, good memory. Player knowledge versus character knowledge, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fine. As, 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 I, I don't think Urbanio's ever been to Cathaway, has he? Fine. I said I, I rolled I, an 18. I might have heard in whispers about it. Uh, the 18, uh, you find a mother looking for her lost child. And she comes up to you two. Have you seen my child? What do you look like, it's, well, he's he's about three years old, and he's about yay tall, and he's got a, a haircut like this. And Rania, hey, right? you are familiar with this child. Yeah, I point over around the corner. I point at the direction. And the, tell bakery the, the bakery district. The bakery district. The bakery district is a good ten blocks away. Why would he be there? I don't know. I, I don't saw know. Him there. Also, could you happen to point us towards Joe's Crab Shack? Joe's Crab Shack. That place is a shithole, but it's across the river and to the right. Thank you very much. Best of luck with finding your child. You're welcome. Thank you very much. 
she takes off the same direction you guys came from. Uh, you need to cross the bridge, uh, go to the right down into the dock district, and find Joe's Crab Shack. Let's do it. All right. We'll skip that one. We'll skip that one. Uh, Odd Rania, even Urbania. Urbanio. Rania, somebody bumps into you. Oh. It is a female. And she is um, a young lady, 20 years old. Hey, pardon my missus. I did not mean to bump into you. I'm checking, looking at her hands because, you know, that's my, that's a tactic I use is to sure. bump in and pick those stuff. And I make sure my stuff saw me before I really answer. She continues to walk away. Actually, I go, hey, hang on a sec. Yes, milady. All right, so I just check. Everything's on me, quickly. D12 against me. Oh. Five. Oh. Two. Yeah, you're missing something. I go up and grab her, Mike. Give it back. Uh, unhand me? Not till you give it back. I don't know what you want. I want whatever you just took from me. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, for shits and giggles, I'm making an insight. Sure. Three guards are approaching your position. Uh, ins oh, it's 13 insight. Is she telling the truth? It kind of sounds like she is. The guards come up and go, Lady Cassandra, is there a problem? I think she just stole something from me. She bumped into me. Lady Cassandra of the temple just stole something from you uh, she's the only one that's like touched me as far as i remember is she, I'm back. Is she the only one intelligence sure go ahead perception wouldn't it be oh uh, yeah no, go, go perception or it's to remember oh yeah it is to remember i'll go mm. intelligence uh that's a nice thing uh, you remember the lady looking for her kid put her hand on your arm and thanked you. But not here, which is all my stuff is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she's the one that bumped me, bumped me. Yeah. Lady Cassandra <sighs> definitely bumped you. But the other one didn't. She just... She only touched your hand that you recall. Right. I didn't have anything, so I'm not wrong. This is Lady Cassandra no <laughs> says, "I, gentlemen, thank you for your service. I think I can take care of this. What is missing, milady?" All right, DM. What is missing? What do you think's missing? The freaking gyroscope. The freaking gyroscope is missing. So you describe it to Lady Cassandra, and she takes off her cloak, displaying a holy robe. And says, Milady, you may feel free to search me. Please don't get handsy. How pretty is she? <laughs> I won't get handsy. Uh, she's a 10. Nah, that's right. I don't want to get handsy anyways. I, It's fine. The, the, the guards seem to be concerned that you're going to touch this holy woman, but say nothing. No, I'm not going to touch her inappropriately. That's Consent is a big thing with me, so. That's fine. I just, I just more or less hips, whatever, and I, I'm going to assume I don't find it because I have a funny feeling I know where it went. Okay. I didn't know if it was magical or not, but it may have gone back to its owner. Or somebody maged hand it. Or somebody, ha, that's true too. Uh, she does not have it. <laughs> nope. I will say, well, pardon me. But I am something has gone missing of mine, and I just noticed I understand it. completely. I know that when I am bumped into, I always think the worst thing first. However, the great god Crack apologizes for all. I hope you have a blessed evening. You too. Although I do also think it's kind of strange you would be at... We're, up, we're right by Joe's Crab Shack, right? No, you haven't crossed the river yet. Oh, sorry. I thought we were there. We're just in the market district. Uh, Urbanio, you're still the female dwarf, right? Yeah. Uh, Rania, 
D12 against me as one of the guards is kind of eyeballing you. Yeah, I've got the hood still. If I just took it off for my own sake. Four. <laughs> Reroll. Roll. Oh, I was waiting for this. Eight. Two. The guard. You know, you don't see the light bulb come on. Good. I am sort of holding my breath. Fine. Here, this is this is me, and she has very short red hair, which would be hidden completely under. Perception check. Perception <coughs> check, Urbanio. Uh, ooh, twenty-two. Ten. As you turn to leave, uh, Rainia, you and the guard notice your item is on the cobblestone. It must have become dislodged when you got bumped into. Yeah, it's a, that, well, that could happen too. All right, I'll go scoop it up. Are we done here? Yeah, I guess she bumped into me. She did bump into me pretty hard. Okay. She, no, that is a tactic, that's all. Okay. And I'll put it more securely in my pouch. The guards shake their head and they move off. Uh, there is the, there is the uh, bridge over the river. You see uh, several loving couples holding hands, enjoying the moonlight and the stench from the river. Uh, odd, Rainia, even Urbanio. Odd, Rainia. A mosquito bites you on the neck. Do it. Do it. So, I've got this on me. And it's going to be kind of hard for it to fight through. But all right. Z I already in. Kill it. Yeah. Hit it's it. an instinctive reaction. De Dex it. modifier. Go ahead and hit it. I could make a check to see if it's instinctive or, you know, if I pull back. But I don't think so. I think for the sake of. As Kyle would remind me. Go on. <laughs> I think for the sake of the entertainment of this game, I'm going to just squash it. Cool. Uh, see if you hit it. Dexterity at advantage. Oh, I... oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to squash it. That is that was the lowest tie was a 16. So that's a dex. That's a 23. The... Oh, yeah. You, you crushed that thing. Uh, give me a con <laughs> check. Let's make sure you don't get malaria. Good, I've got it. This is where it's going to be bad. Yep. I have malaria. I don't know it. <laughs> Probably just typhus. <laughs> uh, okay. It's fair. just typhus, sure. <laughs> it's only typhus. You, you can heal that shit. Uh, do you guys want to cross the river and go into uh, the other side of town? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to go right towards the dock district? We no, were to directed to get to the crab shack. Uh, you, you just take go over the, the bridge, bridge, hang a right, and go down yeah. towards the dock district. Uh, <clears throat> good news. Five. Rainia, you are being followed by a mangy-looking dog. Well, we both are. It seems to be leaning more towards your side. I keep going, and... <laughs> I let's see. I imagine I have trail rations or something, so I throw him some trail rations. Very nice. The dog wags its tail and eagerly laps up the trail rations. Oh, I'm such. I have a freaking heart. Uh, as you wander down the street, uh, you can see an illuminated sign that says Joe's Crab Shack, UCFC tonight. But this building sits at an intersection, and in the middle of the intersection, there's a beam of light coming down from the heavens, illuminating this one individual. It's Dwayne, isn't it? It is not Dwayne. Uh, it is a female. And her charisma is 18. She's just standing in the middle of the street, and there's a beam of light. Okay. Okay. I think that's kind of strange, but. And there is a line to get into Joe's Crab Shack. All right, get in line to get into Joe's Crab Shack. Okay. I'm, I want to survey the line and see if Oz is there. 
is uh, outside. I will take investigation from you and Urbanio. Give me a D12. Oh, no freaking way. Nope, nope. That's a what? That's a net Ele one. 11. You're going to have to wait about 11 minutes to get seated at Joe's Crab Shack. Unless you want to uh, talk to how the much? bouncer. How much did I have to pay off the bouncer? Hey, we're pretty full in there, and the uh, fire marshal doesn't want a lot more people in there. <coughs> but, my lady, I do have a penchant for dwarven females, so I could uh, be so inclined to let you in for, say, 50 gold. Sure. How about me, too? Ugh. Not much me, me and my friend over here. Uh, I suppose, but I want to kiss. From which one of us? He doesn't like Her? you. <laughs> he likes the dwarven <sighs> female. He likes the beard. Yeah. He likes the the whisker kiss. <sighs> Give me a whisker kiss, milady. Mm. Or, or you could just clock him with a stone like you're you've been doing. I wasn't going to jump up and spin kick him in the face. Roundhouse kick him in the face. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yes, the jump is necessary. It's small stature. Well, yeah. It's a uh, 18. Oh, yeah, that hits him. <laughs> you, you, you kick him. Give me a D6 plus your strength modifier. It's uh, 7 damage. Uh, the first three people in line are splattered with his mouth blood, and he turns around and looks at you, and he goes, I like him feisty. Now you give me uh, two packs. <laughs> two packs for two packs! <laughs> give me a second, I need to check. I need to read a spell right now. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, do I want to... So wait, did he get up to like try to touch her or something? Hmm. And now he uh, leaped forward and gave her gave the bouncer a roundhouse kick. No, no. What did the bouncer do? Oh, he wants two kisses now because he likes some feisty. I'm tempted uh. to punch him. I'm gonna punch. Hey, since he runs, because I'm gonna try to punch him. That's not really my thing, but. Uh... Go ahead. Give, me a, give me a wisdom save. Oh, no, I'm not. Rainy, are you going to hit him first, or am I doing the wisdom save first? I was going to hit, but I missed. That was only a, that was terrible. Uh, the crowd behind you starts chanting, fight, 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 and you can hear the sounds of coins being passed around. Oh, God. They're going to uh, be bad. The wisdom save is uh, 14. So, uh, hey, hot stuff. How about you, uh, go wait for me in the inn over there? Am I charmed? Uh, it's suggestion. Did I fail? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, now that the bouncer has left, the line surges forward into Joe's crab shack. Aren't we at the front of the line, though? <laughs> you were talking yes. to the bouncer, but the blood-splattered individuals cut in front of you because, you know, it's a hot club. Force my way in. Uh, give, yeah. give me a d20 on your position. Uh, Radio, uh, you too. So yeah. what, whatever 15. your role is, that's your position. 13. Oh, I didn't want to roll high, so 15, of course. Yeah, you guys, the, the crowd surges forward. Uh, by the time you get in, you notice stairs going up, stairs going down. Crab, crab fights. Downstairs. They're, under, they're underground, literally, so yeah. down. Uh, you go down, and sure enough, there is a small arena. Uh, there's a lot of hazy smoke, a lot of acrid, pungent smell from all these stogies and the pipes. Uh, but the the lighting is kept low because the crab ring is illuminated. At either end, you see their handlers. Uh, and today's round is Big Red versus the Small Blue. Uh, looking around, I'm going to need a very high investigation check because this place is packed. Oh, 
Oh, God. 23. That's high. I mean, that's higher than mine. So mine would be, what was it, perception? Investigation. Investigation. That'd be a 19. Urbanio, directly across from you in this oval is an individual you recognize as Oz the Great and Powerful. He has just handed one of the attendants a rather uh, huge sum of coins, and he has picked his bet. Did I figure out who he picked the bet? Insight. Let's say 18. You're pretty sure he's picking the small blue. Hmm. 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 The attendants come up to you. Are we betting or watching? Just watching for now. Rainy? Yeah. Or at least I am. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the announcer steps out. Vince McMahon uh, announces Big Red versus Little Blue. He goes, does everybody place their bets? Uh, everybody kind of leans forward to see how this goes. Each of the crabs has a small dagger attached to its uh, yes! its claw. Uh, Big, battle. Big Red can hold his aloft while the blue is just dragging behind because he's considerably smaller. Rainia, you are Little Blue. Urbanio, you are Big Red. Take a D12, roll off round one. Oh, I'm going to probably... Wait, my rolls have been tonight? Seven. Six. Round one goes to Big Red. Uh, best of three is how this is going to play oh. out. Round two... Wait, can I, on the side, cast a spell without someone noticing? Uh, what spell do you want? Bane on Little Blue. Uh, Deception to see if uh, you can do it silently. Is it a... 17. Okay. You cast Bane. What is uh, the spell? Uh, every roll I do, so let's see, no, but target but fails, the saving roll, and attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or the saving throw. Uh, it rolled I don't know if that actually matters. It rolled no. a 2, so I, I don't think say? I, I don't think it'll matter here. Uh, Rainio, what was your roll? It, it wouldn't be. I rolled an 11. Uh, Urbanio? Four. One to one. Final combat. Good. One. At least I was able to tie it up. Come on. <laughs> Same as the first one. Six. Eight. Big Red clamps through Little Blue's skull. You hear the nasty Aww. crack. Half the crowd erupts, half the crowd bones. Uh, Vince McMahon walks out, swats Big Red away, pulls forth the stuck dagger, and goes, this one's five gold upstairs if you're hungry, and throws it to another attendant. Uh, Urbanio, you have not told uh, Rainia that dipshit's over there. Rainia, give me another uh. investigation check. So uh, we're okay. There it is. Oh, all right. Now I. Uh, well, now it's like a uh, twenty-one. So you spot him. He's mightily pissed. Oh boy. Oh no! I, wait I, a minute. Yeah, little blue died. So yeah, he's mightily yeah. pissed. So I look at. Uh, I go, Arpanio. I have you spotted any of it? Because he's right over there, and he looks mad. I don't know, I know. I tried casting Bane on Little Blue to make him lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. But you had no our... dog in the fight. You were just Little Blue. So what's our play right now? What do you want to do? Uh, hmm. A lot of people. 
You had an idea. First, I'm going to drink that healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were down points. Yeah, he hit me with magic missile at the start of the game. Oh, right. I totally forget about that. And he's been wandering around ever since. Okay, I'm all good now. Um, in, uh, I was going to say... check, both of you. Oh, uh, wow, that's good. Uh, 22. Yeah, 22. 11. Uh, Urbanio, you notice two uh, galoots walk over. Uh, Care or Rania, you notice the two galoots lean in, say something to the mage that offends the mage, and he is clearly angry. Uh, he puts up his hands and motions for them to move. Uh, one of the galoots goes forward. Uh, Oz walks next followed by the second galoot. It appears as though they are going up to the top of the arena and into a business office. Can I, as you say, can I dash over to where they are and then get con saves? There's a lot of people, so D12 against me. No, I think we or, if you want, you can leap <laughs> into the arena and leap to the other side, and I will be happy to do that. I want to just follow them. Fine, we'll just follow yeah, them. If you go around, it's going to be a lot of people moving about. But you can clearly jump into the arena and jump out. Because, I mean, you know, it's only... Yeah, but then they know we're there. Yeah. So you guys are making your way around to the business office? Yes. Uh, watching where they go. So, I mean, we, there's not, no... Not a problem. Yeah, it's it's like a, a business office, like at a hockey rink or something. Or uh, at a Sam's Club. I mean, obviously, right. you see them. Uh, you go in. Uh, as you get close enough, you hear muffled shouting from within. Can just... I make out what it is at all? Uh, yeah. It, apparently, Wizard or Oz the Great and Powerful is a really shitty gambler and owes a lot of money to the individuals who are running the UCFC. Do I hear how much he owes them? 2000 Yeah. Mm. So we could go in and try to, I guess we could murder the what's ever in there and maybe it'll be so great. Bill Two Galoots, Oz the Great and Powerful, and a crime boss at fourth level. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm, I would think Oz would not be involved in the fight since you're trying to save his ass. It's a thought. Hmm. Uh, but Give me a perception check, Rania. But we are outnumbered. Nope. That would be a seven. Okay. Oh. I don't mm. have 2,000 gold paid, so. Yeah. You also, know what? How, how about we do How about we do this? Uh, I've got an idea. Just Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll hear you out. I'm going to jump into the center and I need concepts from everyone in the room. Including Fair. Rania? I'm Rania. not in the room, so. Do, 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 do. I assume you mean in the office, right? No, in the crab fighting ring. In the arena. Oh, I'm right behind, I'm right next to him, so I would assume I could be out of the. I, I, don't, I, assume, she... I assume he's doing Stinking Cloud, but I don't know. I don't think it's got that bigger. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess I know this. Yeah. this not that how big. how far away is the business office from the center of the ring? Uh, probably 150 feet. Oh yeah, you're you just stay there. You're fine. Yeah. Con saves 15 foot cube around me. Okay. Uh, the quadrant that you came from. I think that's a four. That is a four. The quadrant to the left is a six. The quadrant to uh, straight across is a 16. And the quadrant to the right of you is a 17. So your quadrant and the quadrant to the left have failed. The other two seem to have passed. What did you cast? Thunder wave. Oh my god. <laughs> 
So uh, all 14... of the windows in the business <laughs> office are going to shoot. Or no, they're out of range. Never mind. So, so 14 damage for, for those who pa- or did not pass. Seven for those who pass. How many people does he murder? Uh, about that... half the arena and all the crabs. Oh, Jesus <laughs> uh, does that it... affect structural damage? Uh, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you by the spell's effect. And the spell emits a thunderous boom audible out to 300 feet. Okay, that will break the windows to the business office. You have crabs that have been, (laughs) they've impaled themselves (laughs) into the structural posts of Joe's crab shack. Everybody (laughs) upstairs has their drink knocked over (laughs) because obviously an earthquake <laughs> and their sheer panic as mm. dead bodies have crashed into each other on the left and center, but not across and to the right. They are uh, very hurt though. God, I love thunder wave. So do they make a break for the doors to us or? Oh, the door opens up next to you, Rainia. Yeah. Uh, and the two galoots <laughs> come storming out. Hey, can I, I'm right behind the door. Yeah. Expect that they would. I'm gonna. I want to shank the first one that comes out. Okay. That'll be sneak attack too. I would think because mm-hmm. I'm hidden. Unless you want me to make a stealth check, or do you care? No, you're you're hidden in there, uh, distracted. AC 17 for the galoots. Wow, that's high. But I rolled a 17 on the die, so let me get to. They're wearing half plate. Do I get both attacks or just one? Because this is a surprise. Uh, you'll get both if you want. All right, let me. That probably. Ooh, that is going to be two hits because that is. That's above a 17. Okay. So that is. And I'll be on, I would think, the same guy. It looks like they're going to. They can take some damage. Oh, yeah. They're beefy. All right, so he's going to take a 9, 14, and 4 is 18. Oh, that's Ooh. a lot of damage. Let's roll a dex check for him. Oh, he's going to be pissed because <laughs> he made the dex check. You didn't knock him down the stairs. Uh, Urbania, you turn around. Uh, you hear Xeno Warrior Priestess here uh, shanking one of the galoots. Uh, everybody roll initiative. That was the surprise round. We'll see how this shakes out now. Net 20. Wow. That was uh, shit. Tw- dirty 20. Nat 20 first, then dirty 20, because I rolled an 8. So, Ur- Urbanio, you are in the middle of the arena. Uh, because you jumped into the middle of the arena, everybody focused on you, so it's fairly clear you're probably responsible. <laughs> I'm also still in disguise. <clears throat> but, uh... Hmm. How far? Uh, I don't think I can. Hmm. Let me get uh, charisma throws from the two glutes. Uh, wounded one is green, and unwounded one is orange. Uh, Fourteen for the unwounded, nine for the wounded. <laughs> Uh, they both roll a d4 and subtract that from their next attack roll. Got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ra- Rainia, you're up. All right. Um, how far away is he, by the way, from me? Uh, 150-ish feet. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to make two attacks against the same guy, although now it's not sneak attack. So I'm going to... Uh, in the words of training day, they're going to push your shit in. <laughs> well, I hit myself with the one because there's no one else around. Well, you know what? I'll roll oh. a D4. If it's a one, one of your weapons ka down the stairwell. Two through four, it, you hit yourself. Go ahead. Uh, you, can, you can roll. Oh, uh, what was a one? Uh, D4. One, D4. one, you lose your weapon. Otherwise, you I- I'll hit myself, which is fine. Uh, half damage. Half damage. And I can't really, I can sneak attack, so I'll go with the. Okay, so two points. 
And the other one was just a freaking miss. Um, I'm going to disengage as a bonus action, and I'm going to go going running, and I'll stop at my weapon. They will use their throw-in stars. I'm not throw my weapon. I'll just move my full 30 feet. Are you going into the dead zone or into the angry zone? Dead zone. Okay. Uh, they throw throwing stars because these guys are ninjas. What? Oh, yeah, they're shitty ninjas. Uh, does an 18 get you? Yeah, I don't have that high an AC. Oh, this is going to be bad. Uh, three hit points of damage. Okay, so fortunately they don't take a lot. One of the uh, throwing stars splits into a crab. Big Red is now dead. Okay. Have you been dead already? Eh, he had a lot of hit points. <laughs> uh, top of the order, Urbanio. Uh... I'm going to sprint towards her, or towards the galoots. She's running from the galoots. Yeah. Well, that's okay. If he comes up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn gears and go with him. As you say, I'm going to go on an intercept path for the galoots. Okay. Is that fine? Sure, that's fine. Uh, everybody, what was your thunder wave save? Who what? Con 14. Uh, everybody con 16 for another thunder wave. Oh boy. Including the galoots. 16. Oh, wait, that's the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Con 16. I failed. Uh, what was uh, the damage on yours? Uh, 2d8. This is going to be painful. Are you just. Is, is Oz doing this? Yep. Oh, yeah. As a higher level spell. Oh, yeah. He's, he's way ahead of you guys. You got healing? Yeah, I do. We also we'll see we still how have bad. the we saw the extra healing potion. Fourteen yeah, I know. hit points. Uh, how many? Fourteen. Oh. Uh, that is going to knock out one of the glutes. All right, I'm under twenty, but I'm close to twenty. Wait, am I even close enough to get hit by thunder wave? Uh, does the range increase? I don't think you would be. I assume I am, right? You and the Galoots were. I don't think, because uh, it's... Urbanio, you haven't moved yet, have you? I did a sprint, so 50 feet closer. Uh, so 100 feet? I don't think the range on Thunder Wave is 100, is it? I think it's like... 30. No, it's it's a 15-foot cube. Yeah, so no, you were unaffected. Right. So, whose turn is it then? Uh, you sprinted up, but did you do anything? Yeah. No. I'm going to use my bonus action, or I guess my action to double movement. Gotcha. Uh, Rainia, you're up. I'm going to run to him, and I'm going to be like, come on, guys. And can I suppose you can pull a weapon, can you? So at least if uh, they come in, I, I, I'd like to hold an action. Basically, I want to hold action to shab shank them if they get to me. Sure. That's fine. Uh, there's only one of them now. There's only one, and you see Oz blink out. Oh, that freaking little jerk. The oh, Galoot. Fucking hate wizards. The Galoot will go after Rainia. Uh, plus four is dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, and a miss. Thank God for that. Oh, he gets within range. Oh yeah, he's he was knocked forward from the blast. Uh, uh, take six more damage. All right. Now, as I said, I'm with him. Do you have a weapon out? Yeah, right here. Okay. So, or do you have to actually physically engage him first? You hear? Let's get him, guys! From the angry crowd who's still alive. All right. I'm going to shank this guy twice. I don't know if said he's got a weapon out, so I don't think you're going to... That... Jesus, these are terrible rules. Um, well, there's a four... No, 14 doesn't hit. It's 17. 17. I'm going to... Nope, that's my action. So you ching off his armor. Uh, it's his turn again. I can't disengage. I'll get the fuck out. Uh, 18 and 12. 12 misses, 18 hits. And I'm gonna need friggin' healing. 
Where the hell did I go? You do have the extra potion. I know, but I'm gonna be. Well, actually, I won't be unconscious. Nine. I'm not far from being unconscious, but I'm not unconscious. Urbanio, nat 20. To hit me? No, 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 you're up. Oh. Top oh, of the okay. order. Uh, the, uh, the mob boss is... is just watching this unfold. Is the crowd chasing me now? The crowd is starting to move towards you. How close are they? Yeah, they're probably 30 feet away. Okay. Because they're, they're using the wraparound of the ice rink to try and get to you. Why didn't they just go in whatever? They're stupid. They're peasants, man. You know, uh, morons. How far away is Rania? Oh, she's probably five, seven feet away. Oh, so I mean, she she was coming for you. Yeah. You you were how far away? so all three of you how, were coming together. How are you holding up right now? I've got three hit points right now. So I'm not okay. no. How far is the glue? He's about the same distance as she is. Hey. You guys are triangulating your position. All right, I'm going to attack the galoot. Okay. Right. With a 17. Or wait. 17 does uh, it? Yeah, good enough. Uh, for uh, nine damage. Got it. And then as a bonus action, because Bard, I'm going to cast healing word on her. Okay. So that's. And you've engaged now, so. Yeah, one d four plus uh, six. So five health. Okay, that's hey, that's uh. Something. Just... Rainier, the crowd is closing in on you, and there's a galoot. All right. Well, the galoot is right there, and he engaged it, so I can sneak attack it. Yep. I'm going to do it. That's going to be, oh, I want to blow. I'm going to, I'm going to roll it one at a time here. Uh, oh shit. That's a 16. Fuck. 17. By that much. You do have that bardic inspiration still. Oh yeah, that's right. And that was not that long ago. So I'm going to do it. So I'll hit him. That got better. All right. So I'm going to roll damage. Because he took some damage from that thunder wave, right? Yes. Did he? Okay, so that is uh, two, uh, two, six, two, really two, six, seven plus four is ten, uh, eleven. Can't add. Eleven. Got it. Uh, Audrania, even Urbanio. Uh, even. He's gonna go after you. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not done. Oh, go. I asked. Him if he's still conscious. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, he's, he's still, still conscious. And I'm gonna take my second shot. Oh okay. That's gonna be a miss. I am. I'm really gonna disengage. Urbanio, I can't... he gets you with a 24 and a miss with a nine. I assume. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Wait, targets, anyways. Uh, six damage. And top of the order, Urbanio. Okay. Urbanio. Mm. And the crowd is really closing on you. Mm. Mm. How bad uh, is it? They're pissed. Uh, give me a wisdom save from the galoot. Six, 17. Never mind. Okay. Mm. Uh, <coughs> let's see. I'm going to give Rania another Bardic Inspiration. All right. My bonus action. You're up. Oh. All right. I'm going to try to hit him again. I'm going to do it one time again because it is a bonus action. Um, That's 18. That'll hit him. With my rapier. Oh, that was much better. Uh, that is 11, 13 plus 4 is 17 points of damage. Down he goes. All right. Then you said quaffing a potion's a bonus action? Mm -hmm. All right. Then I'm going to quaff that extra. So 2d4 plus 4, right? Yep. 
And then it is, uh, I'm going to be like, let's get the hell out of here. And I'm going to start moving. I'm going to tell you to run on it. Go ahead of me. You're faster. It's my, it's my action. So I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, I'm only, I'm only moving 30 feet right now. So that is, oh, that's pretty good. 13 plus four is 17. So you're escaping? Yes. Well, cue the Benny Hill music as these guys run mm -hmm. up and down the uh, stands at the UCFC, and we will call it a night. Uh, a, you don't want to. You want to give me one more chance to thunder wave them? No. A, <laughs> a lot of things happen tonight. I mean, a lot. Uh, why do they what? I wanted to get that asshole mage, though. We didn't clear oh, that. He's not, he's not at Joe's Crab Shack anymore. Uh, <laughs> let's go final thoughts. We started with Carol. We'll start this time with Mike. Mike, what'd you think? Man, fuck wizards. <laughs> <laughs> also, next time you say urban adventure, I might actually try and go a changeling. <laughs> yeah! Just, just for the I sake of... that so much! No, oh denied. <laughs> uh, Carol, what'd you think? Oh my god, that was so much fun. I, I really did like the open world feel of that. Uh, that was, it did really feel like a sandbox to play in. I do wish we had a little more time where we could have gone and tracked down that freaking wizard. Big sandbox. <laughs> I know, that's what made it good, but I said I wish I had a little more time to just to just have that closure, you know, of the, the story. But you know, otherwise, I always keep you coming back. You do anyways. <laughs> Even if you close the story, I'll still come back. I mean, there's a campaign next week, so I will definitely be back for that. That is true, and there's a talk show on Tuesday. Folks, if you want to have a seat here uh, with or replace these guys, uh, feel free to hit us up. Let us know. Uh, I'm sure they would like new meat uh, in here so that they can fuck with you as opposed to fucking with me. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on you Twitter. You know that won't change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's true. Hey, you'll still fuck with me. <laughs> uh, check out the YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, go ahead. If you can't, no worries. If you want to join us in chat, uh, oh, wait, mhobo Inc. Oh, yeah. Pull the hood I'm, up and move I'm, your hair. We went through this I know, last I night. Room, I know. I've got really long hair. I don't know if I can... There you there. go. So, that's the zip up sweatshirt. Yeah. Uh, if you want to chat with us on Discord, uh, M Hobo Inc. Discord under the tiny URL. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we'll have a few more of these uh, boredom buster scenarios next week. Until then, we will see you on Tuesday. Bye, guys. Everybody wave and wash your hands. Do your washing.